guys, welcome back to the Mama Lounge. I am back and I'm so excited. Happy New Year, I missed you guys. We got so sick for like 14 days, you guys. It was insane. So we are almost all better, but we are definitely not having any fevers or feeling like we're gonna barf. So that's a good thing. I am so excited about today's video because I am doing a huge homeschooling collab and there are, I think, eight, eight women involved in this and I will make a playlist or put the playlist description below so you guys can view all of our videos. But today we're just gonna talk about homeschooling um, and specifically for me, preschooling, since I do have preschoolers. So I just wanted to show you kind of like how I plan for the day and during the day what I do and maybe some tips here and there if I can think of any to throw at you guys. But let's jump right into this video and get started. And that's it guys, let's go. Okay, so I have notes here and I'm going to just kind of briefly go over a few things. Um, the first thing is, and you don't have to be like an expert preschool you know, teacher to do preschool at home with your toddlers. So I have um, two toddlers ages almost four and then I have a two year old. So they're about the age, I, I would say like 15 months is a good um, time to kind of engage in preschool at home and doing worksheets, even if they're just like scribbling on them, just to get them in the routine of doing so. So um, my four year old does obviously more intricate work and I kind of work with him one on one and then my two year old kind of just does our crafts and does you know easy things that she can do. So you can totally tweak things and make them um, specific per child. So um, the first thing that I wanted to show you is just must haves that any homeschool mom I guess should have on hand to do preschool. These are basics you guys if you just want to do simple really inexpensive ways and just teach your kids little things here and there. It doesn't have to be super structured to get started. This video is for you. So let me show you what I for sure um, recommend uh, just for doing like little activities with the kids. So the first thing is a laminator and this is the Polaroid laminator. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like $16 at the time. You don't need anything fancy to do stuff like this. I mean, you can get fancy ones, but honestly, this does the job and it's just quick things that I wanna laminate for uh, to use with like manipulatives with the kids and stuff so they can like count and it's just a little more harder of a surface and we can reuse them. So laminating, I highly recommend. You can get really thick um, packets of laminating paper. Honestly, super inexpensive and I think I still have some and I've only bought it once a year. So really, it's super affordable. Definitely recommend. The second thing I recommend, if you're not really good cutting, uh, you cut straight really well, which I don't and honestly don't have time, um, is a paper cutter. You can get these at Michael's. Hey, Zach, honey. Sorry about the noise. I mean, you know how it is. And my dogs are eating, whatever. Um, so you can get these at like Michael's or I'm sure like Walmart, Target, any of those places would have these, but it's just like one straight edge and you can just make cards and um, different things to laminate, which I will show you in just a little bit on how I use that. Um, the other thing that is really good for preschool must-haves are little containers like this. These are egg cartons. You can cut these up and um, split them between the kids, use them for um, paint, manipulatives, counting, whatever you wanna do. Um, so that's for that. And then also, this is at the dollar store, just these little tin, um, uh, cupcake tins and I just like these to use for counting purposes um, you could do different colors in here there's a lot of different things you can use but just some kind of containers that you can use um, that they can you know just see all the stuff that you're using and it doesn't have to be expensive I mean obviously there are like really nice things you can get but honestly I'm on a budget and my kids this is just so like they're young so they are having fun either way um, the other thing I'd recommend is just getting basic supplies. So um, you could get all these at the dollar store or anywhere. Pom-poms, um, I got these fancy ones at Michael's, but pom-poms, um, also popsicle sticks. You can also get these at the dollar store. Um, just to use um, in crafts and stuff, I'd recommend getting like a stack of white paper plates from the dollar store and they have different like, um, papers and just go to the dollar store and just go all out spend like 20 bucks on art supplies and that's all you're, you're going to need so make sure the kids have scissors and glue sticks and glue as well and then um, I like to get caddies like this this is from the dollar store um, I will show you later I have a target one that I got it's a little bit bigger depends on what we're doing like for tomorrow's um, 
preschool, I'm just going to be using markers and glue and everything else is kind of packed in their um, bins, which I'll show you in a second. So don't need much on that. So that's all I would really recommend to get started. Oh, also a printer, scissors for you, um, and like crayons or markers or something like that for the kids. So um, that's really it. Maybe some dice. You can also get that at the dollar store um, or pretty much anywhere. So those are just some basic things. I'm gonna list um, also a PDF on my website that you can download that kind of breaks down each of the things that we'll be talking about and um, which I'm gonna talk about right now. So that's just your must have. So let's just jump right into like the day of um, and steps for preparing. I like to prepare like the night before, a few days before for the week. Hey Zach, honey, can you be a little more quiet? Thank you. Um, I like to prep like the day before. So uh, the first thing I like to pick a theme, keep it simple, holiday, weather related, anything like that. Kind of go with that, jump on Pinterest, just Google a bunch of stuff, crafts, printables, um, just down or uh, search anything and use the keywords for the theme. Um, if you put free printables, tons of stuff come out. You can do letter tracing, you can pick a letter, a number, stuff like that. So that's super easy. Download the PDF, that will kind of give you a guideline on what I like to put together for the day and then each of those are in order and how I do them before lunch and nap. So check that out on my website. I will list that in the link below. Ooh, okay, so um, I just want to kind of show you how I do. So the first thing I like to get together is circle time. So I like to go on YouTube and find a bunch of different songs for kids and put them into a playlist, a private playlist that I can just see and put on my TV uh, for them to watch. Um, and then I put it in order on how I want the songs to go. So like a good morning song and then the last song will be like a jump around, get our wiggles out before we go ahead and read some books. So the second thing I like to do is books. So I just pick out two to three books or have the kids pick them out. It doesn't have to be fancy, honestly. So after circle time, you're gonna do book time. And then for us, after that, we do our activities or our busy work. So we start with our busy work, the tracing, math, um, our learning games and stuff like that. Um, we do after books. And then after we do all the, uh, all the busy work, I like to jump right into the craft, which is super fun for the kids and they absolutely love it. I do prep this craft before in which I will show you in just a second how I did that. And then after crafts, I do an activity. So indoor, outdoor, depending on the weather. If we're outdoors, maybe nature walk, go to the park, um, go on a field trip to the farm, depending on you know what's going on or the theme. And then also, if you wanna do indoor, you can do like uh, sensory bins, you can do like moon sand with a bunch of little items inside, or you can make an obstacle course um, around the house and make the kids go around three times and stuff like that. You can really incorporate an activity. And then we do lunch and nap. So that's just like the basics of preschool and it probably would take the whole thing maybe an hour to do. And they just love it and it gets them kind of excited for lunch and um, hungry and tired for their nap. So that's my recommendations. I would also recommend to, with your theme, just pick a letter and a number, use it for that week and just kind of reincorporate that. Make sure like all the worksheets you're doing are have, um, have, you know, let's like for us, we're doing the number 10. So everything we're like incorporating is 10 of whatever. So our craft, we have like 10 raindrops, 10 cotton balls. Um, my son has like a worksheet that has like two different numbers all the way to 10. So things like that you can just incorporate. So the day before I get all the stuff done ahead of time so that I'm super prepared, even down to the craft. Um, and then I also put everything in these cute little bins for the kids and each one has their bin with their worksheets and their craft supplies and then I also like to put a little game together depending on uh, the what I have going on. I made a little rainy day one. This is one I had to make. Sometimes I just use stuff that I have but just a little learning game, shapes, numbers, colors, stuff like that that they can do together. Um, or if you have a just one child you can do it just a one-on-one -on -one and just you know pretend you're one of the kids. So that is it for that. Let's jump right into how I kind of prep for the day um, for a preschool so that you can be super successful because the, the kids get super excited about doing everything. And I found that if you don't prepare for um, like the craft, for example, it's taking me all this time, they're getting anxious and it's a whole thing. So if you can prepare the day before, and these are simple crafts, you guys, they don't have to be elaborate, glue, crayons, markers, stuff like that. You can do paint as well. Um, I like to stay away from paint because uh, my daughter is super messy, so we do it on special occasions, but 
you know, it depends on the kid. Let's go right into how I prepare for my preschool day. And I thank you guys for watching and I will see you right after I show you. start with prepping the letter R craft. So what I'm going to be doing is I printed out the letter R. I found this on Pinterest. I'm going to cut it out and use it as a template so that I can make blue letter R's. So I'm using construction paper here and I'm going to trace the letter R on one of the sheets and then I'm going to hold two of them and just cut out the letter R. All right, I'm just going to be using cotton balls and these are going to be like the rain clouds. So I'll have the kids put those on and then I'm just going to cut out this um, raindrop and trace it and then just make a bunch of raindrops. I just folded this in fours. Um, so I'm going to make a bunch of raindrops and they are going to be gluing on the drops. So I'm going to do 10 of each, 10 raindrops and 10 cotton balls since the number this week is 10 and the letter is R. I'm going to prep one step further and glue on these letter R's to a white cardstock paper. That way the kids just have to glue on the cotton balls and the raindrops and it keeps it simple. Next, I got this idea from Pinterest. It's a number game and I printed out these pictures I found and laminated them. I cut them down to size first and then I threw them in the laminator because I wanted to use manipulatives and have the kids be able to reuse these um, for the years to come. So, I'm just going to be using my handy dandy laminator and I'm inserting in the paper and I'm going to just run it through the laminator really fast and I will be doing two of these. And then after that, I'm just going to trim off the excess edges and it's all ready to be used. For the game, you're just going to have each kid take turns rolling the dice and picking out however many raindrops the number comes out to. You can do this over and over and it's just a simple way to use your counting skills and it goes with the theme. The next thing I'm going to prep for is our busy work and these are just things that I found offline. So I searched Pinterest for the letter R and rainy day and free printables and I found a few different worksheets that my kids can do. I printed them out and I added a few here, um, some counting and matching and I just kind of kept it with the theme, some addition for my four year old or almost four year old and then just like a dot to dot thing. So both kids get a packet and I use about three to five pages per kid and I'm just going to put them all in this little bin for them and so that I can just pull it out and know which one is for which kid and it makes it super easy. Also here's my caddy again and I'm just going to have the kids use markers and glue so that is all I need. Like I said, you can get this one at Target. It's a bit bigger depending on what you're using. All right, I hope this gave you some inspiration to do some preschool at home with your toddlers. Like I said, it doesn't have to be expensive and you don't have to be a pro. So I hope this inspired you and it will help you have some tips and ideas for your homeschool days with your kiddos. I hope you guys like that preparation of how I do preschool. I hope that you head over to the other ladies' channels and give them a uh, look through. They're going to do a lot of different other things um, for their homeschool. I'm really excited to see everybody's video. And like I said, I will list that in the description below the playlist for you guys. And that will be open. And if you are a YouTuber and want to do a homeschool video, if you do homeschool at home and have some tips or ideas that you want to share, please feel free to do so. You can message me and I will um, make sure that the playlist is public and you can add in your um, video. So we would love to have you along with our playlist. If that does um, kind of speak to you and you want to do something like that, let me know. You can DM me on um, Instagram. I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Yeah, so very excited, you guys. Make sure you subscribe below and like this video so I know that you stopped by. Leave me a comment if you want to connect, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!